everybody, it's Miss Sarah, and today I have a few friends at my house. I have Pout Pout Fish, Maisie, and the Mouse, and we're going to have a tea party. But first, I thought we could read a book about tea parties. So we're going to read Tea Party Rules by Amy Dickman. This book is published by Viking, so thank you, Viking. Cub was playing in the woods when he smelled something delicious. He followed his nose through the bushes and found... Cookies! And another bear! Can I have a cookie? Cub asked. The bear just stared. Cub tried again. Can I have a cookie, please? The bear just stared. Why won't you answer? Cub cried. He poked the bear. The bear fell over. Oh, Cub exclaimed. You can't eat cookies. Cub felt sorry for the bear. I'll eat the cookies for you, he promised. Cub was about to take a bite when he heard someone coming. He had no time to hide. Cub pretended to be the other bear. It's time to play tea party, the girl announced. The girl paused. She looked closely at Cub. You're grubby, the girl said. Tea party rule. You must be clean. Then we can have cookies. She carried Cub inside and put him in the tub. Cub liked being grubby. He did not want to be clean, but he wanted cookies. When Cub was clean, the girl paused again. She looked very closely at Cub. You're messy, the girl said. Tea party rule. You must be neat. Then we can have cookies. She carried Cub to her room. Cub liked being messy. He did not want to be neat. But he did want cookies. When Cub was neat, the girl paused once more. She looked very, very closely at Cub. Something is still not right, the girl said. Tea party rule. You must be fancy. Then we can have cookies. She pulled out her dress-up trunk. Cub was certain he did not want to be fancy. He wanted to run away. But he really wanted cookies. Perfect, the girl said. You're ready to play tea party. She carried Cub outside. There were the cookies. Now, the girl said, the most important tea party rule is you must eat daintily. Cub couldn't believe it. He was clean, he was neat, he was wearing a dress, and he had to eat daintily. This was too much for a bear, so Cub helped himself. The girl gasped, You're not following the rules! 
she shouted. Cub did not care. He had cookies. Soon, only one cookie was left. The girl sniffled. I really wanted cookies, she said. Cub knew how that felt. He gave the girl the last cookie. But the girl did not eat daintily. She said, We're not playing tea party anymore. Now we're playing... Bear! Cub liked this game much better than tea party. And he already knew the rules. Would you like some more tea, Pow Pow? I love flowers, so this teacup is one of my favorites. It has flowers, and if you look at the gold parts, they kind of look like a basket weave. Here's another cup with flowers. This one has beautiful pink roses. More flowers, but this one's interesting because if you look at the handle, it has two spots for your fingers. This cup is blue and it has a gold handle that has two holes just like the other one I showed you. But I like this one because it has a little picture on one side and then a little pattern around the rest of it. I think that makes it unique. This pink cup has a bird on the outside and I like this one because birds are one of my favorite animals. On the inside you can see there's a decoration on the inside where the tea goes and it's a branch with some little flowers on it. And this one is special to me because I got this cup when I was living in England. This gold cup is over a hundred years old. Can you believe that, boys and girls? It belonged to my great grandmother and she passed it down to my grandma and my grandma passed it on to me. It's very special because as you can see, it has gold on it. This is another one that has a very interesting handle. If you see, it comes to a point. This cup is what got me to start collecting teacups because I thought it was so pretty. Okay, boys and girls, I can't show you all of my teacups because I have so many, but I wanted to show you one of my teapots. Everybody who likes to drink tea needs a teapot. This one has butterflies all over it. I hope you enjoyed learning about my teacup collection and listening to a story about having a tea party, and I hope you have a tea party at your house.